Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat and today we are going to be um, filling out my February budget overview. Okay, so I'm just going to let you know what I have and what I'll be working off of. So I have here my calendar view for February off of my Budget Mom workbook. And off here to the side, I have an Excel spreadsheet that I have created myself, and it basically lists the bills we have, the dates, and um, any subscriptions um, or debt. I have them ca um, categorized and also highlighted. So I am going to go ahead and just put this in here. Usually, um, here are my first and my January one. I was writing my just my bills. Um, and I wrote them pretty large, but what I'm going to do on um, this one is I not only want to write my bills, but also use this calendar spread towards um, tracking, tracking my expenses. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm just going to go off of this and um, put it on here. But I do got some stickers for this that I purchased from um, Life in Envelopes, Jennifer. And I'll be um, just decorating this, and I'll just put some music in the background. Uh, my husband's home, and he's watching television, and I'm just doing this on my own time as well. So, um, let's get started. Okay, you guys, I originally thought that I was just going to put music in the background, and then thought, uh, you know, that might be a little bit boring. And again, my husband was home. We live in a very small space, so there's no way for me to really say, hey, can you go to another room or I go into another room? But um, yeah, so here I am basically getting all my stickers ready for this February um, calendar spread. Let me know what you think. I love these colored stickers. I think they're super, super cute. I like the idea, or I guess not idea anymore, but um, the fact that somebody actually went out of their way to make stickers for this workbook. I have one, I have done the one for January, but I did not record it. Um, but I thought, you know what, I'm already doing this, so I might as well go ahead and also record me doing this sticker layout for this month of February. So the top washies fit pretty, pretty well. Um, I wish I had maybe like some more accessories so I can lay down the stickers better, but you know what, guys? Um, that's getting too fancy now, you know what I mean? <laughs> So I'm just doing it with my hand. If it's a little crooked, it's like, oh well, it's okay. It's just stickers, you guys. So here I'm laying down my February sticker and um, I'm having a little trouble and it got a little crooked, but I thought, you know what, it's okay. Um, but I absolutely, as I mentioned, love this spread. I don't believe I have, do I have the one for March? I don't remember you guys. I think I also am ready for March and I have the one for March as well. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this. So I'm going to go ahead and just speed this up and let you guys see how this unfolds.
Okay guys, so at this point I'm starting to put down my bills on my calendar overview and as you see to my far right, I have my bills on my Excel spreadsheet. It's not something difficult, you guys, it's not, um, you know, like difficult science or anything like that. You can do it on a notebook or you can do it on Excel. I like doing it on an Excel because my handwriting isn't the best. You just go ahead and list all the bills that you had to pay for each paycheck and that's how I do it. So I'm showing you here my January 1. I already have it all listed. So you can once you have one month done, then you can of course go back and then just do it off the other month and copy. Um, but I like having the spreadsheet because it's super helpful to only have that one spreadsheet when you are transferring your bills not only to this calendar spread but also when you're breaking down your budget through the worksheets that the budget mom provides. So here I am just writing down um, each bill and um, using my spreadsheet that's here on the side. Okay guys, and at this point, you know, I'm done writing down all my bills. So I'm looking through um, these stickers that I have because I thought it'd be really cute to put some stickers for when I will be um, just cash stuffing and um, getting paid and other events during the month. So here I got these cute little payday stickers from the same um, kit that I got for February. And here I'm going back and just looking at my husband's paydays because he gets paid every two weeks. So um, I had to go back on the previous month and see what days he got paid and do it that way since I get paid on specific dates, but he doesn't. So his payday always fluctuates. And it's something on my to-do list is to go ahead and go through the entire year and know what days he gets paid. That is on my list of things to do. That way I'm not continuously having to go back um, each month and see what day his paydays landed and maybe do it on an Excel sheet just like this spreadsheet that I got here. So now on here, I have my paycheck. As you see, paycheck one, paycheck two, maybe um, you guys can't see the last few, but I have here on this Excel sheet, the lowest amount that we have gotten paid for each paycheck. But last month, we actually got a bill that came by surprise that was the lowest we have ever, ever gotten. And I'm looking to find that right now. So here it is, 939. That's the lowest amount that we have gotten paid for that paycheck. So now I have to update this Excel spreadsheet to reflect that lowest bill. So you guys might say, so how do I know, how do I budget if my paycheck fluctuates? Well, what the budget mom does and what I have done based upon her advice is look back on bills for a year or two years and see what is the lowest amount you have gotten paid and what is the highest bill that you have gotten for certain things. And that should be the way that you should budget um, that way. You know, you're never caught by, by surprise and you have a budget that can, you know, stand the test of time through anything. Okay, so here I have colored these two on the first and the second, these two paychecks, orange. And I'm putting a little note to myself here that this highlighter um, um, 
reflects that these bills are being paid by a paycheck from January. So I do have a paycheck that pays for these two bills that come out of February, so I make sure to put that little note here at the bottom. So now I'm going to grab just these highlighters, and these highlighters, you are going to see here, I highlighted this one blue, and that paycheck that I highlighted blue, now off of my Excel sheet, I go and highlight blue the bills that it's going to pay. It's going to pay Comcast, the Straight Talk bill, and it also pays um, Excel Energy. So now I have it highlighted blue. So that's how I organize myself. Now this one I'm going to highlight pink. Now this bill is going to pay for PlayStation. It's also going to pay for my CrossFit membership. And I believe it used to pay for one more bill, but we won't have insurance on this vehicle no longer. So those are the only two bills I believe that will need to be, that will need to be paid. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab another high, different color highlighter because it's a different paycheck. And I'm choosing this purple. Now I'm going to highlight this paycheck purple. Now I'm going to go through my calendar and highlight all the um, bills that that paycheck is going to be paying. So as you see, it's going to pay Google Music, a lot of bills. This paycheck pays a lot of bills. And I had forgotten, see, I put on the spreadsheet also the first and the second of the next month because this paycheck pays one bill for the next month and our last paycheck for the month of February and for most months pay rent for the next month. So as you see, I'm highlighting that purple. And this last paycheck I'm receiving February, I'm highlighting next month's first day because we're paying that rent bill with that paycheck. I'm just highlighting here that on the top, there's two different bills, two different paychecks that are paying those top two bills. So I'm just seeing, you know, make sure I didn't forget any bills. And now my spreadsheet is done and it's completed. So that goes as far as my bills and next I'm just you know doing some kind of just decorative stickers as I mentioned before so I'm grabbing some little dollars that I'll be putting on the days after I get paid and I'm just going to put that on the Saturdays because um, it's pretty amazing that this month our paychecks landed on a, a Friday because last month they landed all over the place. So that means on Saturdays, I'll have my cash stuffing. So it was nice I was able to find these cute little dollar stickers and I'm just going to put cash stuffing here. Now you guys, I also have these cute little piggy piggies um, and I'm going to put those on Sundays because um, on my Budget Mom Challenge, I have a challenge that every Sunday I had to move $20 over um, to my savings account. So I'm just putting these little piggies there and also I'll probably be uploading my savings challenges on Sundays as well. It's something that I wanted to do, maybe get a little bit more organized with the content I'm doing, but I'm still having fun with it and just uploading, you know, whenever I feel like it because this is a hobby for me um, and it's fun. So I'm just like, do I want to be more organized on when I, or more consistent um, when putting up content? I'm not sure, but it's a good, it's a nice idea and it was a good use of these stickers.
All right. So now here on this on this right side, it's goals for this month. So my goals are to track. I am really, really wanting to track um, my expenses, where my money is going. I want to be on point with that stuff. An other goal that I have is to be um, content with what I have, you know, and not be online so much and use what I already have. So, you know, are these all these piggies necessary on this spreadsheet? I don't know, but I'm using what I have and I don't want anything to go to, you know, I want to be grateful for what I have, so I need to use it. And also, my word for this year is peace, so I want to remind myself of that through this spreadsheet. Now, there's also things I need to do this month, and you guys, I have to update my ID. I don't want to go to the DNB, but it's something that I'm going to have to do, and I... Oh, it's just something I really don't want to do. And we're also in the search for a home. So I'm not sure if we'll be able to move this month. We will see. And things that I have to do, you guys, is I have to declutter the closets. I have to um, just go through our clothes and just do things that, you know, we tend to forget. Like the laundry room, any like little areas where we tend to clutter because if we are moving soon within the next two months, I need to make sure we're not bringing a bunch of junk and stuff we don't use to our new home. So those are my goals. So I'm just looking over this and this looks pretty complete. I'm pretty happy how it turned out. I love the stickers and I really enjoyed doing this with you guys. Thank you so much for watching you guys. It is, it just has been so much fun. And if you guys have any questions about this Excel sheet, just let me know. But in the meantime, I'm just here admiring my um, my notebook. I love it so much. It It's just, you know, budgeting can take a toll on us. Not a toll, but it can be sometimes something we don't want to do. But the stickers and having this YouTube channel really has made it more fun and enjoyable for me. And it just has been just so great i have met so many people here virtually and they have been so nice okay guys that completes my budget overview for february i'm unsure if i'll have enough room for um spending my tracking or tracking my spending but i'm going to try so that means that i'll be able to use my no spend stickers on each um individual box if I'm able to track and stay on budget the, for the month of February. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you later. Bye.